Good morning from beautiful Marrakesh. We've had a historic meeting at ICANN 55 and we're here sitting with Dr. Steve Crocker and Akram Atala to talk about this. Let's start with you, Steve. Last night, the board delivered the IANA stewardship proposal to the NTIA. After this two-year-long effort, how do you feel this morning? Well, we feel absolutely ecstatic. This was a great moment. But let me emphasize that although indeed we did uh, deliver the proposals, two proposals to the U.S. government, um, this moment really marks uh, a fantastic effort by uh, the whole community for a two-year period putting together uh, its ideas and uh, uh, assembling a proposal that was really, really hard work for a lot of people uh, going into every detail. And uh, uh, as I say, although we did deliver the proposals and this is a, a big moment going forward, I think it's uh, important to note how much work went into this and what that represents in terms of a community really working together and uh, a lot of emphasis, of course, on the multi-stakeholder model. So the ensuing f phase is quite critical. So what are the next steps to ensuring the proposed transition goes through? Well, the immediate future is uh, two parallel tracks, really. Uh, the U.S. government will be looking at these proposals and uh, coordinating internally, and uh, that'll take, uh, we're told, uh, approximately 90 days. In parallel with that, uh, we will be implementing much of the machinery to, implement, to make those changes um, go into force. There's a whole series of changes to our bylaws. Uh, we have the uh, substance laid out in the proposal, but now we have to go through the drafting process uh, and get the details right. And everybody's going to be watching very closely to make sure that what, was, what they thought was going to happen is actually embodied correctly in the bylaws. And that'll be a very fast-paced effort in order to uh, operate in parallel with this government uh, process. So what challenges do you see lay ahead? Well, uh, uh, sort of high and low challenges, if you will. The high challenges are, as I said, uh, everybody's going to be watching to make sure that the details are right and that the agreements that we believe we've made don't come unraveled because of something hidden below the surface. Uh, the low challenges are we're tired. Uh, this is just going to take a lot more work, and so we just got to keep pressing. And, uh, and, and the you know, serious part of that is, in addition to the people being tired, this displaces a lot of other work. So uh, uh, agendas are building up of just ordinary stuff that needs to be done. And, uh, and someday we'll be back to normal. One day. Akram, you're serving as the interim CEO and president until Yoren Morby joins later this spring. So what should the community expect from you over the next few months? Well, more of the same, <laughs> so uh, no surprises. Uh, I think that uh, the community is familiar with me. We have, I've been at ICANN for about over five years now. Uh, we, as Steve said, we have the transition to uh, work on preparing for the implementation and the approval, hopefully, of the, pro of the proposals. And as we uh, do these things, we still have all the other activities of ICANN to, uh, to manage uh, and make sure that we deliver on them. Thank you. And can you provide us a status update on the new GTLD program? So the new GTLD program is in its final phases. We've had uh, the majority of the process have been implemented. There is less than 40 applications that have not been uh, uh, contracted. And uh, there are a few that haven't been delegated, a few more that haven't been delegated. And we uh, continue to finish uh, these uh, processes, applications, and uh, uh, contracts. And hopefully, uh, we will be finalizing them uh, as, uh, as uh, uh, Yoran comes in. And in your opinion, has the program been successful and how do you measure its success? I think that the community set out to do the program to deliver on uh, three main areas, uh, increasing competition, increasing choice, uh, and uh, providing for more innovation in the domain name system. And I think that uh, we've achieved all of them and there is more success to come. And can you tell us about the importance of the IDN program and any recent milestones that have happened? So the IDN program in, uh, is very dear to my heart. I think uh, coming from uh, the Arabic uh, speaking language and having a script that's different than Latin, uh, I'm uh, particularly uh, familiar with the need for, uh, for the IDN program. 
uh, we uh, uh, we want to see the world continue to be uh, support all of the different languages and different scripts this is just a small step on the internet to provide for a complete uh, adherence to other scripts other than la latin uh, we just uh, during the meeting in marrakesh we just basically accepted the uh, arabic integration uh, and uh, the arabic script in integration as well as the armenian script integration which are both scripts used uh, frequently in my home uh, country of lebanon mm. and akram there has been talk about the next new detail d round um, can you tell us something about this well, the uh, board and the community have been very clear that uh, we're not going to start the uh, next round uh, until we have uh, uh, finished the reviews that are taking place right now. It's very important for us to learn from uh, the previous round we, we've undertaken and to implement some of these uh, learnings into the next round so that we enhance the program as we go along. The, in addition, there is a GNSO that's looking at uh, uh, the PDPs that needs uh, the uh, policy development processes that needs to take place uh, in order to uh, make sure that we enhance the program. Uh, and as all of these things come along, uh, come around, I think that we, uh, the board, will look at them and decide when the next round will happen. Thank you, um, Steve. I can fifty five was obviously important on many levels. Uh, one of which. Um, was taking place here in Africa with a high attendance for the first time from the African community. Um, what are your, how does, reflect, how does this reflect on the success of the meeting? Well, this was a success at every single level. Uh, this, this really was a high point in, in multiple ways. Uh, we had enormous support from the local community all the way up through the minister. Uh, we had a high-level meeting of ministers and other senior government officials, uh, which we've only had uh, twice before, and this had an extraordinary amount of participation, including, of course, from uh, this continent. Um, a, a key part of uh, what ICANN is all about is inclusiveness, is participation. And uh, as is to be expected and as normal, uh, the degree of participation has varied quite a bit depending upon what region. The developing countries are uh, always in a, a more advantageous position in this respect. So we worked very hard at trying to be inclusive for the developing uh, countries. And, uh, and since we're here in Africa, this is a particularly interesting and uh, uh, focal point for us. And uh, this is, this is uh, I think, raised the consciousness throughout the continent, uh, increased interest and uh, provides a basis going forward for a, a, a sort of a new plateau, if you will, that we can build on. And returning to the transition, how, what do we both, what do you learn about the community through this process? And this is a question for um, Akram and then yourself, Steve. Well, uh, I think that uh, <coughs> if nothing else, uh, this transition got us closer as a community. It brought uh, some, uh, uh, parts of the community that uh, are not always fully participating in, in ICANN and brought us together, got us to work together. There is a lot more familiarity and camaraderie going on. And I think that it's important because the community now can realize that to, when they come together, they can deliver great things. Steve? Well, I, I certainly echo and, and endorse uh, everything that Akram has said. The other uh, teaching from this, if you will, is that uh, things take time. Uh, when this was all started March 14th, uh, 2014, uh, the expectation was that the transition would be complete in uh, a year and a half. Now the transition is not yet complete and we're two years in. I think it uh, will be running basically one year longer than we had originally anticipated. Uh, so. Uh, and I don't know that there's much that could have been done to change that. And uh, on reflection, I'm not sure that anything should have been done or you know, just a question of learning how big the community is, how diverse the views are, and hence how long it takes to knit everything together when you have a serious big problem in front of you. Um, well, this you know, brings us toward, um, to the end of the interview, but any final um, words, Steve, please? Uh, 
we came to Morocco uh, for an ICANN meeting, uh, excuse me, 10 years ago. Uh, and uh, it was a great meeting then, but uh, I look forward to returning, and it's been fantastic. And I hope that we're able to come back and it's sooner than 10 years. Akram? Yeah, that's, this was my first uh, trip to Morocco, and I uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, looking forward to uh, spending some days here. Uh, and I'm looking forward for your own to start. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you both. And um, we'll be saying farewell to ICANN 55 here in Morocco and welcoming you to Helsinki in June to ICANN 56. And thank you. Mm -hmm.